Hi folks, a bit of an update with the garden and uh, greenhouse. Uh, I've got some holy beans and a couple of new additions to the family farm. Uh, I'll uh, get on with it and uh, don't forget, leave a comment in, thumbs up or a thumbs down. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, it's free. Don't forget, it's nice to be nice. So guys, I thought we'd start in here. Um, I thought it'd be worth having a look around, there's a lot of things changed now. Um, these are the sunflowers one set hasn't fired i'm thinking i possibly didn't plant them they're the sonya they're the only ones that haven't got anything that's firing yet so but a lot of others are i've got they'll be if they all fired they'd be like 96 plants there or something like that 94 plants 96 so i think i'll get plenty anyway i might replant the sonya though in fact i will um Lots of other stuff happening. King at North's, I bare rooted them and replanted them. I weren't happy how they were going. They look a, li a little bit, well, they look a lot better now because they were really yellowing. So I repotted them. They're house tomatoes, they're not coming in here. All my other various tomatoes, I've got seven, seven varieties of tomatoes. There's just some beets and stuff going on there. Um, these are the black tomatoes, I started them a bit later. <clears throat> beans, I've got five types of beans, three climbers. Now, I'll tell you what I've got. If I can find them. That's the watering system. I've got fire beans. <laughs> they were given to us from last fall. It, or given to my kids and the wife in church. Fire beans, they must be Old Testament beans there. Eh? You will go to the pit of fire. But then I've got some monastery beans, they were from Halver. And I've also got trailer tears. Now these are all heirlooms. And they're all different enough not to interbreed from what I've found. I put, well, I don't know about the fire beans, but they're a completely different bean, a really big red bean. I've got some um, bush beans. One's an F1 uh, primal. And I've got the pongo beans from Bill and Val, which I grew last year and saved seed really, really good. I planted a load of other stuff out to say these tomatoes really need to go in. There's some spare brassicas, hopefully some of them will come on a bit. They're the um, rainbow chilies, which is very good. And the flowers, <laughs> salad in here is banging on, doing really well. Uh, this is Ruby Shriek mustard, this was from Dale Calder. This stuff's all going out. There's some more spares. Uh, this stuff's all going. But this will go to the quail and the rabbits. Yes, with rabbits now. Whatever else I can leave in, I'll interplant the tomatoes in between it. I've got no problem with planting the tomatoes in that, you know what I mean? I might have to pull a couple of these lettuce out full. But I will have no problem. I'll plant the tomatoes in at the same time. That'll keep the earth uh, cooler, and, well, it's cooler but damper ov obviously as well because it's covered rather than just trying to top out. It's a lot damper all the way up to the top even though it's just, I know it's just water but under plants it's damper. So that's not a problem. But yeah, got to get my tomatoes in. I've got loads, I've got loads to give away. These are Wenzel's. And what I'll do is I'll pull all the leaves off, plant them to about that height. Again, these are suffering a bit now from lack of food. I did put some um, chicken manure pellets in the tubs, put the water in, let them suck it up. Garlic bed stole me along. I'm, I lost one. It did come up, but I lost it. So I don't know what happened there. Something got it. But they're storming along. These are the uh, red Russians from Mr. Coleman. Oh, I've got some more giant bell peppers. <laughs> I've got I've got to repot up Willie's giant bell. That sounds wrong in so many ways, doesn't it? But that's in cellar. They're in cellar. I've got to, I'll bring them on a bit before I bring them out here. It's cooled down a bit. I've sorted of that bed out and all a bit. That's the calendula from last year. And there's a lot more new plants coming out. I threw a load of wild flower seeds underneath that tree as well. We've had loads of asparagus off the weedy asparagus. It's very weedy now. It's still banging on. We've had about four, four good pickings off it. So that's pretty good. 
they're from that compost bin in the bottom. I managed to get compost in every bed that I didn't have compost on. Obviously this is deep mulched. These are a lot of brassicas. I've got some more brassicas to come in. Hopefully, some of them are looking a bit sick, but these were spares from, um, oh, what they call Robbie spares. They were just left in a pot. So they'll either pick up or they won't. I've got some other new seeds started. My peas are coming. See them? They're just small. Um, get up to about 50 centimetres. Just two foot. I might just have to put some pegs around outside just to stop them from flopping over, but that's not a big deal. Onions and shallots are moving on. I've, I was really sparing with the carrots that I planted in here, and I'm seeing a few, but not many at all. So I might go back to my old method and plant far too many. But there's some coming, and then these are just radishes in between. And when carrots start coming better, I'll be able to get all these bits of grass out. It's easier to, but there is a few carrots coming through. I think weather's been strange. It's been either too hot and dry or, well, just dry. These are just some salad stuff, obviously. Here, I planted more radish and more carrots. These radishes were started in modules a long time after them. I've got four rows of carrots because I didn't have enough carrots last year. And they're the rooting parsley, what Mr. Coleman sent me. Very kind of you, Willie. Like I said, I've got all these, all these, all these beds are composted now from that front compost bin, and what were left in in that one. I've got to turn that as well. Cherry blossoms are finished, but I can spot cherries on it. Hopefully, we don't get that frost. But like I mentioned before, I will cover it. And uh, there it is. Putting some cherries on. But I will cover it, I'll fleece it if I have to, if we get a frost. This is my bean construction. All beans, climbing beans, bush beans. Uh, I need to put an extra support on that. And what I'll do is I'll take down to that metal peg there. Just tie two strings on. That's just to stop it from coming back. It will end up tangled up in tree, I know. Uh, no movement on my spuds, but I haven't watered that since I planted it and it's still lovely and damp inside. This is still all messy, I've got to pull that up. I'd like to get it all wood chipped, but only problem is with it being on a hill, it um, will probably all wash down unless I can put some stops in and bring it down slowly and get enough wood chips. I don't know what's happening there. Look at that, I use this, it's lovely and damp in there. Amazing. But then again, that bed is, I've never watered that bed at all. It's always been damp because it's been mulched. Deep mulch is the way to go. Deep mulch or deep compost. Homemade compost. I wasn't going to do <laughs> squash this year, but I've got loads of squash. I've got that the uh, blue Cinderella. I've got loads of cucumbers, different types, about five different types of cucumbers and a watermelon and uh, the Korean melon. So I'm going to squeeze as much as I can in here and uh, we'll see how we go. And I'll, I'll try some cucumbers outside as well. I've got some uh, uh, also from Dale that are self-fertilising. But I'll have to find out where I'm going to put them. I'll squeeze them in between the corn. <laughs> or on the end of this bed, build some vertical structures, see what happens, see if we can see rabbits. Okay. And here they are, the Bunny Brothers, uh, new additions to the family. The lop-eared bunnies, this one looks like it's a semi lop eared bunny, it's only got one that lops at the moment. But they'll get about twice the size of that, if not a bit bigger. But they're both boys, and I'm not allowed to put them in pies. <laughs> Just got me a down and started turning this compost. There might be some more good stuff in the bottom of there, but I've just found some compost treasure. Here we've got 
um, a nectarine or a, something like that that's sprouting. And we've uh, got an avocado that's just ready to go. So I'll put them in a pot. I mean, avocado will never grow uh, in winter here, but take it in house as an house plant. But that might be interesting to grow. Some sort of peach or whatever. Nectarine. Always good to look what's in your compost. The spodomatic's doing all right. Most of them are coming up. There's some South Palmeiras coming up, which were from the unsaved seed from seed potatoes from True Seed from Terry King. <laughs> that's hard to say. And uh, that's that's about it, I think. Don't forget, thumbs up, or the thumbs down. It's always nice to be nice. <laughs>